in this lecture we will discuss about implanta transformation technique so implanta transformation technique is actually a direct method of plant transformation where it avoids the use of in vitro tissue culture steps and the basic advantage of implanta transformation is that it is very efficient and quick method of transformation and it is tissue culture independent method of transformation and it is useful for plant that lack tissue culture and regeneration system and a large number of uniform plant can be produced in very short time and it is very less labor effort and minimal region are required in implant transformation technique and it is useful in cereal crop vegetables oil seed crop and many other plant species so here is the basic steps that are involved in implant transformation technique the first is preparation of agrobacterium competence cells and then incorporation of the recombinant plasmid and then recombinant agrobacterium transformation and then we will perform primary culture and then we perform secondary culture and then transform plant and then we will do co cultivation and then we select our recombinant plant based on their marker gene and then we regenerate in pots and then transfer into the field and then we will perform molecular analysis here we will do pcr and southern blotting techniques to further confirm that our target gene have been introduced in plant cells or no so here are five to six basic implant transformation method now let's discuss this method one by one the first step is floral dip transformation method in floral dip transformation method we grow plant to a stage when they have just started to flower and then plant are briefly dipped in a suspension of agrobacterium sucrose surfactant and then plant are maintained for a few more weeks until mature and then progeny seed are harvested and its limitation is in floral dip transformation we obtain low transformation efficiency and random integration into host genome and other method is vacuum infiltration mediated transformation so in vacuum infiltrated mediated transformation plant tissues are submerged in a liquid suspension of agrobacterium and are subjected to decreased pressure vacuum infiltration is a common method for introducing bacteria to the interior of plant and it also has limitation like low transformation efficiency and only transient expression and next method is pollen tube mediated transformation in pollen tube pathway method the pollen tube is used to introduce plasmid dna containing an exogenous gene into the embryo sac and it leads to the transformation of fertilized egg and egg or early embryonic cells result in the regeneration of transgenic plant and its limitation only nuclear transformation and it is limited to the few species and frequency of transformation is very low so the implant transformation lack proper tissue culture for many crops and implant transformation is a tissue culture independent quick and efficient direct transformation system and it produces a very large number of plant in relatively short time and it need minimal labor and region required and no or low expression in other plant part are some of the problem in many other crop species in plant transformation also need further optimization study so it's all about in plant transformation method